Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got this month's Square Hue box and this is the box for August. We're going to go ahead and break out into it. So here we go and this year's theme is the dance collection. We've got our great card here and this is the flamenco and it's got your swatching spots over here with the names and the descriptions of the type of polish they are. And Color Your Nails Changed the World. Thank you for giving traffic victims a chance at a new life. A portion of your membership is donated and has a direct impact on the fight against human trafficking through the A21 campaign. So always, always supportive of this company. But we're here to see some polish today. Let's get all of these little cardboard papery wormies out of the way. And this is a very interesting looking box just on first glance. And we're going to go ahead and start. I always start with the first one down here. And look at that. Oh, wee. That is so pretty. Here is the name. Glamis. Leave it out. I don't know why I was trying to put it up. And then we've got this one. And of course, I can't pronounce the names again. And um, this is a high gloss cream. And this first one, <laughs> I didn't even mention it. It is a matte pearlescent. So you guys that don't like mattes, just put a glossy top coat over that and rock on. There we go with the high gloss cream. And then the last one, oh, this is pretty. Let me wipe it off. I just smeared it with my thumb. Look how pretty. And this is another high gloss cream. So, I'm going to get some pop sticks out and we're going to swatch these. I don't have names on them because I just opened the box so I didn't know the names. But we're going to go ahead and go in with our first coat. Oh, this is what a lot of people would deem one of those pretty ugly colors. I'm really loving it. So as you can see, the first coat goes on, you know, a little streaky, but that's to be expected. It is the first coat. Alrighty, there we go. Gosh, that's so cool. It's got a very green undertone to it, a very olivey kind of color. Here we go with the next one. And I will be doing some stamp testing, like I always do. These are not stamping polishes, but I have found that a lot of the square hue polishes have been excellent stampers also. And there we go. Beautiful cream. It's kind of a dusty peach. Very nice. And then now for the cranberry looking color. I'm loving that. Ugh. And I've heard so many talk so many people talking on Instagram about how they're so over summer. They're ready for fall. And these are going to be some great fall colors. Alrighty, we're going to go back. That one's already dry, pretty much. I mean not dry dry. You wouldn't want to bump it if you were wearing it, but as far as dry enough to go in with the second coat, I think we're good on that. That is just so pretty. And I always love, I mean, I've got a really big collection of nail polish, so I always love when I get something that's completely different than anything else in my collection. And this one definitely hits that mark. Oh, I'm just loving this. Let's get the... It's just really pretty. All right, that one is done. Let's go on to the dusty peach color. And I know there's a lot of us out there that really love us 
some of the dusty colors. I think it gives us a break from, you know, the brights and the other, you know, pastels and bright, brighter shades. Okay, well, I'm going to think, I, I'm going to think, I think this one's going to need probably a second coat on this swatch. I think depending on how you do your coats on your actual nail, it'll be fine. Um, it does look pretty good. But I'm probably going to do a second, I mean a third coat on that one. Just because. And then now to our cranberry color. Oh, this is so nice. I love the formulas on their polishes. I really do. I, I enjoy getting their polishes because I know that they're going to be good quality and they're going to have a pretty good formula. There we go. So two coats will do it for that one. It's a little see-through maybe. Transparent, but not bad. Really, really love that color. <clears throat> All right, and I am going to do a third one on this one, but I'll do that off camera. So, I'm going to get everything ready for some stamp testing. Alrighty, right I am back. I have already gotten some stuff out. Actually, most of this was already setting out from my last Manny. This is the Lena All About Love 01 plate that my friend Connie sent me. I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use my Born Pretty stamper that I won off of Jay Lee's nails giveaway. Miss Janine sent me this one. She also sent me this cute little scraper. And I will be using my lint roller. And I've had lots of questions asked about this. This is just a regular lint roller. And I put a piece of chalkboard tape over it. Um, it's sticky on the back of the tape and it just sticks really nice to it. And here's what that looks like. I get mine at like Home Depot or no, Office Depot. Something like that. So, we're going to hop on into it. We are going to start off with this matte pearlescent crazy color here. I'm going to try to be quick because the matte polishes normally dry very quick. There we go. Nice pickup. And okay, it wouldn't come off the stamper onto the, the black. So I guess if you were doing this on your own nails, you might need to use something like this yellow stopper. And I am going to just apply a little bit here to this other side over here and see if we can get this to transfer just to see how it looks. And this is a trick you can also use on your nails. You just apply that and let it get a little dry but not dry dry. You want it to just be kind of tacky dry. Does that make sense? <laughs> so we're going to give that a second. And while we're doing that, I'm going to clean off this plate and get it ready for the next one. Okay, that's just a little sticky dry now. Let me see if I can line this up. Okay, and that totally worked. They don't show up very well, and I figured they wouldn't. They're so dark, but they do show up. I mean, I, I, you could totally see that if you were wearing it on your nail. So, stamper clean. We're going to close that one and head on to this dusty peach color that is talking to me. So, I'm going to plop some of that onto the plate. And we're going to do a scrapey. Pick it. Picked it very nice. Back over here to my other side. And that shows up fine over both of them, especially over the white. But you can still see it. It kind of gives it a pearlescent look over the black. Very nice. Digging it. And then we got to pick out another, <coughs> another image to use for this last one. And this is that cranberry looking color. I'm just going to go in right here. It just looks so pretty. And I don't know about this image. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll go for it. It's not a very solid image. But it does show up. 
but since that one was kind of a cheater one, I'm going to go around here and just do these open hearts just to give it a fair shot. I don't want, I don't want it getting, you know, mistreated. There we go. See, that picked up very nice. And I'm going to plop it on right here. And that just shows up great over the white. Not so much over the black, but it does show up over the white. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this one. And I guess I need to run through the <laughs> the deal on this box. This is the Square Hue box. It is a monthly subscription. It um, It's a repeating subscription. You have to go in and stop it if you don't want the next box or if you want to discontinue. Um, being a subscriber to it. It's uh, very neat because they do allow you to have either the two, two bottle box or the three bottle box, which is what I get. And on the two bottle box, you get to pick which two colors you want. If you wanted these two or these two or these two, you can pick. And I really do think that that is pretty cool. If at any time you want to stop it or suspend it, you can. It's uh, they're not you're not set up like to where you have to get it for so long. I will leave all the information for Square Hue down in the description box for you if you'd like to go check it out. I do believe that the three the three bottle box is twenty one dollars a month, and that includes your shipping. And if you get the two bottle box, then that is I think sixteen, including shipping. This, of course, I believe is just the U.S. prices. I don't know if they ship out of the United States or not. I, I'm not sure. So, um, But you can definitely go check them out. And that is all I have for today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you back next time. That is all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.